Welcome back to Ozarks Fox A. And we're talking to Rebecca Grace Taylor with Whispering Willow's Senior Dog Sanctuary. Nice to see you. Hi, guys. Hi. Tell us who you brought along here first. This is Mel. He is a 13 year old uh, hound mix, uh -huh. and he was actually rescued off of the streets in Memphis. He was picked up as a stray before he came to our sanctuary. How long have you had him? He's been with us about a month now. Oh, he's yeah. brand new to you yeah. guys. Isn't he sweet, Kaylee? He's a what kind of dog is he? He's a hound mix, probably like Beagle and maybe Bassett, his little feeder kind of. His yes. legs are short. His legs are short. Yeah. He just wants to be loved. And before the cameras came on, you said, yeah, he's at the place where he just wants a nap. And what else did you say? Oh, he loves a couch or a soft nap and a couch. Couch. Yeah. And I said, yeah, A me snack, too. you know. <laughs> Yes. Okay, Living so let's talk. Yes, living the dream, right, Kaylee? <laughs> let's talk about your sanctuary and how long it's been in existence and why it was started. About two years now, and Valerie Reed, our founder, her dad got sick with cancer and had a dog, mm -hmm. and the dog needed placement. So her going through that experience with a senior dog, mm -hmm. needing a place to go, that's how Whispering Willows got started. Okay. And um, we currently have 20 senior animals in our care. So. Okay. There's a huge need for senior rescue. There is, and you know, probably she wouldn't, she didn't know that until she was faced with it. No, she didn't. Uh, what usually happens, and not always, if you have uh, someone, a relative or something that can take care of it, because we went through that with my grandmother's mm -hmm. animal, uh, that can happen, but sometimes you don't have anybody to take care of that. Right. So we're lucky that you guys are doing this. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Do all the dogs get along? They do, they do, and they, they know what's expected of them. So, you know, just like families, they have little little moments here and there, but um, they rest together and they play together for mm -hmm. short amounts of time. <laughs> um, they really they really just really enjoy their retirement life. Yeah, that and that sense. is great. Um, so now you rely on donations. Yes. Okay, uh, that's totally how you're funded, correct? Yes, we are donation-based. Um, so all of the care that's required with senior dogs, their vet visits, their medications, mm -hmm. their food, um, all depends on donations from the public. Wow, yeah. it takes a lot. It takes yeah. a lot. Is it just a dual sort of gig, or do you have more people coming in, walking the dogs? Um, we do have a couple of volunteers, and we have some staff, but mainly Valerie and her family. They're the ones that are really there 24-7, mm -hmm. taking care of the animals, sometimes picking them up at night, and placing them in certain areas, oh. and just it, it really requires a lot of time. I can't imagine. Do Are they needing pe volunteers or any people to help? Sometimes we do. It just depends on the dogs and kind of what stage they're in in their life and mm -hmm. what kind of care they require. Yeah. Um, you know, sharing the stories about the dogs is always a good thing to do yeah. through through our social media. Yeah. Um, and if you know, if you want to help raise money, all of them need assistance in that way. What's the sort of age range you have? Um, well, most of the dogs are over 12 years old. And you are their social media person. Yes. You, you, and I know you get attached to the animals. I see that on, on your uh, yeah. posts as well. Uh, this guy, he's, he's loving to be petted, but he's like looking back, are you still with me? He's really <laughs> grown attached to you really... in this short month that, yeah. that he's been with you. They definitely, they get attached quickly, and um, we just become a big family. Yeah. So. Now, so how they are with you until they pass away yes. or until you decide that it's time to let them go, yes. how, however that works, because sometimes they get in such pain. It's Right. You know, it's it's all about um, helping them transition and pass peacefully. Right. So it's, it's not really any different than hospice care with senior right. people. It's just with senior dogs. Right. Yeah. I, I love this. Now, you said this handsome guy is from Memphis. Yes. Mm -hmm. What are some of the stories behind some of these? Um, well, there can be animals that are found on the streets or maybe sometimes people bring their senior animals in. Unfortunately, a lot of times, um, because it is hard to care for senior animals, yeah. people don't want them anymore. Right. Um, right. And then there are situations where people go into nursing homes or... Um, you know, they just, they need a place to go. We have a waiting list of over 100 dogs. And that brings me to the next thing I wanted to ask you about. You have a new building, uh -huh. and that's that's hopeful. Tell us about that. Yes, our new building that we're working on, um, we got it donated, and we've got half of the building done right now. Mm -hmm. And once it's completed, we'll be able to house 80 dogs. So we're hoping, like, early spring that we'll be able to really move forward with that project. You have 20 now and you're hoping to be able to house 80? Yes. That is incredible. Yeah. Our wait lists will be knocked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, and there will, there are always more. That's the one thing yes. in rescue is oh. there's always a need um, 
for another place for a dog. So. Yeah, absolutely. I love yeah. the work you're doing. So do these dogs stay with you until they pass on? They or, do. Or do you they adopt they them stay out? with us. Sometimes they're with us a couple of months. Sometimes they're with us a couple of years and sometimes a couple of weeks. Yeah. It just depends. Sometimes we give them um, a place to go when they've had a really rough life. Does or... he want to lay, oh, he wants to lay down? <laughs> his legs are giving out on him. Yes, he's tired. This I get is, that. This is his, you know, okay. how he usually is. He's just snuggled in a lap. Oh, so. he's, he's, can, he's comfortable enough And now. that's what senior dogs really want. Yeah, they really they just, just want to be, be close. Yeah. Rebecca, how can people uh, get more information or maybe donate? Sure, they can um, visit us on our website, Whispering Willows uh, Senior Dog Sanctuary. They can go to our social media through our Instagram or our Facebook as well. We appreciate it. They yes. need all the help they can get. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. Well, Such a great organization. Yes. We'll be back right after this. Mel, you're so sweet. I love how it's paused.